Hey everybody, in the last video we were working on the platformer. We had the person falling, we had them moving left and right, hitting walls. We even had them jumping. No, we didn't. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to get your players jumping like this. We'll even get it so they can hit their head and they fall nicely, right? And it's all perfect. Let's get to it. Now, to do the jumping, jumping is going to be a little bit of keyboard. So, here we go with our keyboard. I'm going to sneak the jumping right here. Okay, I apply gravity, maybe. And now I'm going to do the jump, okay? Now, jumping is a pretty simple rule. When is the player allowed to jump? They're allowed to jump when they're on the ground. So, let's check if they're pressing the key and they're on the ground. So, if keyboard check. And this time I'm doing pressed, right? They have to actually press the space bar to jump. Or let's say press the up key. VK up. So, if they press the up key and if they are meeting one pixel beneath them, a wall, okay, they have to be on the ground, then it's okay to jump. And the jump code is going to be nice and easy. The jump code is just going to say, hey, take my velocity y and set it equal to, and remember if you're jumping up, this is actually a negative direction, right? Your y's will be getting smaller. So let's say I make it negative 10. And that's it. And so I just make our y velocity right away negative 10. And then the next chunk of code will say, hey, try moving y plus negative 10. Well, can it go 10 pixels higher? If so, y plus equals negative 10, and it actually moves. Otherwise, maybe they're going to hit their head on something, right? Maybe there's a little barrier really low. Well, it'll nudge them. Now, the problem with our nudging code is it's like the x direction. We had left and right, but I used the sign trick to take care of the left and right direction. I'm going to do the same thing here. This while loop only works for falling down to hit the wall, right? I'm going to make the exact same correction. I'm going to say y plus sine velocity y. That way it'll work even if my velocity y is up hitting a wall. And v plus equals sine of velocity y. And then I stop either way. Hit my head up, I still have to have velocity stop. Or if I fall down, hit a brick, I stop. So this will take care of moving up and hitting a wall and down and hitting a wall, much like the x direction. That's really it for this video. Let's give it a little test. <clears throat> Believe it or not, just these little like 10, 12, 15 lines of code, it pretty well does it for your real basic platformer start. All right? So come on. No bugs. Let's hope this works. Jump up. Look at that. It just works. Velocity is negative. It's checking. That negative value, well, gravity keeps adding on to it. Eventually pulls it back down to a positive value. It drops. It hits a wall. It checks for contact points. You can obviously change the gravity values you want, right, to make it do whatever you want. Um, oh, I planned that poorly. I'm not jumping quite enough. The one thing you may want to do is you may want to add a terminal velocity so the player can't fall down too fast. And I'll just sneak that in here at this point. Where's our gravity here? Right here where we add our gravity on. Just let me sneak this in here for you. If VY ever becomes, let's say, greater or equal to 12, VY equals 12. And notice my curly brace there, right, where it is? It's with this if statement, right? So add gravity, max it out at 12. Else, I'm on the ground, VY is 0. That's pretty well it. Um, I actually don't even need this else. I can actually take that out. Because right here, this is the only time I'm hitting the ground, is when this happens, and I'm setting VY to 0. So it does sort of work. Just to prove it to you, I'll just give this a quick run, and now you have gravity in your game. Thanks for watching. Uh, give a little like or subscribe. And the next video, I'm going to be adding double jump. Oh, 
I'm so bad at this game. I'm going to add double jump. Oh, that was a, like a super jump there. Oh, not quite. Anyways, there you go. We're going to add some double jump and ladders. Okay, see you in the next video.